so now I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. This is Dr. Cricket YouTube channel and you're watching the story of the Weekend Warrior episode 8. Yes, I think I've earned the right to call this the story of the weekend warrior one more time because I was considering changing the name to uh, story of the weekend patient because I kept getting sick or injured. But I think after my last week's performance, I'm going to revert back to calling this the story of the weekend warrior. So welcome to the story of the weekend warrior episode eight. So we're gonna be playing against Diplomats today. D Diplomats is one of the oldest clubs in the uh, league. They're not doing too well in the season so far. I think they've only won one game. They're second last in the group stages so far. But nevertheless, you never know with a cricket match. A team can show up, be at the bottom of the table and still end up beating a good team. We're doing really well so far. We're 5-3. So we're gonna try to pull this off today and uh, continue to improve. My leg is starting to feel a lot better now. So I think uh, today I'm gonna try to ball. Hopefully I don't re-injure myself. Wish me good luck and let's head out to the field. Do you guys want some there? there. I'm noticing some kind of like uh, biasness in the team. Yeah. I feel um, like uh, it's coming from certain people that are like misfielding or like don't want certain people to ball or something. Can you please explain a little bit about that? They're just taking the advantage of being the top run scorers or they're just scoring runs so they feel they can run the team in a certain way. Mm. If you're going to be biased towards somebody just because you don't like them due to personal reasons, okay. that shouldn't be done in a team game. Yeah. Can the man of the moment. Oh, oh okay, okay. First of all, Is this the uh, guy? Yes, uh, oh. Mr. Hamza Rana. So Hamza Mr. Hamza Rana, first of all, uh, great. I don't think so you should be taking advantage just because due to some personal reasons you have against or another front spinner, front line spinner, Mr. Rami Sadiq. Yeah. I don't left. know what... I'm not sure what uh, Hamza has against this guy. I think he's a good spinner. What do you think? Let's start the match for now. So both Hamzas went on opening once again. Hamza Rana had a really good start. Hamza Raja also started playing some really nice shots from the other side. They had a good partnership early on. Hamza Rana ended up giving away his wicket, caught behind to the wicket keeper. Next up was me. Hamza Raja kept going strong from the other end. I came in, almost got bowled first ball. Only me and the bowler know how close that was. Hamza Raja still was going strong from the other side. I started playing some good shots as well. Picked up two boundaries back to back. Hamza Raja kept going strong, picked up a 50 here. Even after the 50, he kept playing some really nice shots. This was caressed over the cover by yours truly. Hamza Raja. Oh, this guy tried to get me man kit. No, 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 no. Don't do that. The next ball, he finally ended up getting a wicket. Hamza Raja got out after scoring a beautiful 50. Then I hit a 6 after that and just watched the reaction. I think this is the first time I've ever seen anyone celebrate after getting hit for 6. And then I gave away my wicket. Got LBW, I really thought this wasn't out. But uh, Ali standing on the other side really thought so. And then I, when I watched the match after I thought it was out too. Ali got out right after, gave away his wicket. He was playing after a long time. Zishan came in, Zishan got out. Ramiz came in, Ramiz got out. Royal Striker is doing Royal Strikers things from this point. There was a little bit of back and forth when Ramiz got out. Almost got into a fight. That tends to happen when the temperature is high in the middle of the ground. But uh, good thing, nothing bad happened and uh, it was resolved. And then the action continued from that point on. Jimmy started playing some really nice shots. Towards the end of the innings, Saki built a good partnership with him. He played some good shots as well. Jimmy started hitting boundaries back to back. Four sixes all around the ground. Saki finally gave up his wicket. Jimmy kept going strong from the other side though.
Movie sub came in, lost his leg stump. Mohsin Bai came in, he gave away his wicket as well. But Jimmy was looking really good from the other side. And he brought up his 50 over here. And then hit another boundary after that to wrap up the innings. Tell me, tell me what happened. I don't know 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 what happened. I but but um, uh, as a reporter, but why question, do you hate Ramiz? My question is, I don't know. he said that you support your boy, but there have been some text messages that have been leaked to the media that suggest otherwise, oh. where you have called him unreliable spinner. Oh, is that well, boy. yes, he is unreliable. So you are admitting that you are admitting that you think he's an unreliable spinner. Wow. With the new ball, he can be unreliable. But yeah. today, Roy na, mera puter Roy na. Koi gal nahi.